This is the first time that local government councils in the state will be organizing economic and investment summits of this scale, bringing together economic and development studies, institutions, private equity firms, political office holders, investors, and stakeholders. The summit tagged harnessing Isoko economic potential and opportunities for sustainable development is driven by the need to diversify the economy of the Isoko nation and the state. The keynote speaker is of the opinion that before investments can thrive, certain infrastructure must be put in place. Isoko suffers from serious infrastructural deficiencies, especially power. How can we stop? This vicious circle of poverty and of underdevelopment. Other speakers at the summit are hopeful that through this medium, investors will work with the people to create value in areas of comparative advantage, particularly in agriculture and agro-business. Acreage of farmland cultivated is limited, and the yield, when you compare that to the effort, is very low. Therefore, one of the primary things we need to do is to transform the agricultural sector. What we see in Olebiri today is a community that is denuded, devastated, abandoned, as well number one. The yield from well number one has declined. The natives are left in squalor and condemned to stew in self-pity and dash hope. We don't want to learn from our own experience, and I'm sure that's why the two chairmen decided to put this together. Special guest of honor and the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifan Yokoa, decried the low patronage of the Central Bank of Nigeria's Anchor Borrowers Program and called on Deltans to form cooperative societies to enable them have access to funds. This was really was started just for us. Then because we made a request, it has, it has included cassava now. Initially, it included oil pump, but because the gestation period is more than the usual one year to 18 months, we are trying to find a way now, which we are working with Central Bank. The general consensus here is that with the government creating an enabling environment, a bottom-up approach must be adopted to attract both local and foreign investors to the land and Delta State, increasing the level of economic investment activity that will create employment and fast-track socio-economic development.